working? <laughs> we hope it is anyway. Right, uh, welcome. We are Board Game Opinions. I'm Jonathan. And I'm Mark. And we are attempting to play Mechs vs. Minions, uh, which has lots of fantastic miniatures. Uh, we each get to play the mechs. Yep. And we kind of move around stomping on the board, trying to kill all the little minions. Now, it's scenario based, so each mission we're attempting to do a particular thing. So I'll go through the details of the mission. Uh, it's been a while since you've played. Yes, yeah, for me, at least a year since I've played. <laughs> so, so I'm a little out of practice. I'm going to remind Mark of the rules to this, which will hopefully then also fill you in on what's going on. And then we're going to give it a go. Yep. Um, I have to say, because we've both played through the campaign campaign of this, haven't we? Uh, this is one of my favourite games. I really like it. It's really well done. Yes. Yeah, I mean, the I know it was a surprise coming out. It was a bit of a shock, but it was... Uh, yeah, I think it was just so surprisingly good. It wasn't just a miniatures game with really nice painted stuff and all these. It was unique. I like the card placement. Yeah. I like the stress with the real time element. Yeah, it was all play and it was all so well done together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, incidentally, if you're watching this, do let us know if you can <laughs> hear, hear us, us. <laughs> and that everything is working. Yes, we don't want to be talking to ourselves. Right. So, how does it work? Well, this mission, I should say. Yep. The school, which is represented by this grey area here, is on fire. Oh dear. And as always, the minions are sort of rushing in and trying to kill us. Um, but if any of these min uh, minions gets onto a school space, yep. they kind of blow it up and we lose. So even one minion will lose the game for us. Uh, in theory, depending on the scenario, we have this doom tracker um, that tracks uh, how much health you've got or how long it's going to be, and it kind of ticks down. But in this case, it only has one health. Okay. So one minion gets in, and we lose. Yeah. So that's straightforward. Uh, right. Um, in terms of the views, we can kind of switch between... Should we go into the other... Might be worth just quickly while I point yeah. the board a little bit. We can always switch back in a minute. Let's go to there, and there, and... No, let's go to the overhead. That would be, that'd be more useful. And that's out. There we go. Yes. So, yeah. This is the school. Right, now we're going to start in the school somewhere on one of these spaces and we can face any direction we like. The direction you face in this game is pretty important. Um, it can all go horribly wrong. Essentially, you yeah. kind of power up, don't you? It's like programmable mu movement. And you'll be firing your guns, but if you're facing the wrong way, you're going to sort of shoot into nothing and you're not going to kill any minions. So we can decide where we're going to start at the beginning. Yeah. Of the game. And every round, you deal out a bunch of action cards to here and we're going to draft them. So we take it in turns to pick them. Uh, we're going to get two every round. And we add them to our command line somehow, and then you execute your command line from left to right. You have to do every single step on the command line, even if you when don't want to. Wrong. So it, it might be something that moves you. It might be something that turns you to a different direction. It might be something that shoots. But uh, essentially, you've got to uh, execute it all. So if it starts to go wrong, you can find yourself sort of self going in circles and shooting the wrong thing. and It's very funny. Yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, that's that, and then after that, all the minions will move one space. Yep. We roll one of these direction dice, so whatever you could get, in this case green, green refers to this tile, these guys will get an extra move, yep. so we've got to sort of watch out for that. And then whatever colour you roll, um, as well as the moving extra space, is also where they spawn. So however, they will all move one space effectively closer to the school, and then you'll spawn a fresh line of minions on the end. Mm -hmm. Now, what are we trying to do? Well, we're trying to get these crystals. Uh, I must admit, I've no idea why we're trying to get the crystals, but the crystals are important <laughs> for something. So, essentially, we have to manoeuvre our way onto one of the crystals. As soon as we stand on it, we pick it up. Yep. And we kind of put it next to our player board. And then if we manage to get back to any of the spaces on the school, we kind of cash it in, and that's like one part of the way towards victory. If we get all three crystals back to the school, we win the game. Now, losing the game... <laughs> Mark be easy. Yes. Obviously, if the minion gets onto the school, we lose. Um, but what happens in general in the game is like an escalation. So as you accomplish the mission to a certain extent, it gets harder. So after we've got our first crystal, the game is going to become harder in some way. And when you play the game, because it's scenario-based, you don't know in what way it's going to get harder they sort of tell you don't peak until you've actually get to that point and then obviously when we get the second crystal it gets even harder and when we grab the third crystal there's a kind of mad panic run for the school because it becomes really really difficult um 
That's pretty much it. Okay. It is timed. We've got a sand timer here to time the drafting. It's only the draft that's timed. Yep. But we'll draft that and then uh, draft the cards and the rest of it we can sort of just talk and decide what we want to do. Yes. Or we can sort of level up to a certain extent as well. As we kill minions, they get put on this minion kills track up here and every five minions sort of gets us an extra level of team gears. And when the gears get to, we've got a sort of special ability that we can unlock. So if it makes yep. five, it makes it two. Five Mark only needs two. And if we get to 15, the kind of maximum on here, then we go into overdrive and we each have a special ability at the bottom that we're <laughs> going to be able to do each round. So that is going to make us better. So we want to kill minions. Killing minions is good. And there's tons of tons of minions. As you can see what I've got. Another entire tray of minions here, <laughs> which uh, we'll potentially be needing because you can get a lot of minions in each scenario. But it's great fun. You run around killing loads of minions, trying to grab the crystals. <laughs> Shall we see if we can do it? We can see if we do it. Steve's asked if we want to be updated on Eurovision Song Contest. And <laughs> it's Eurovision tonight, nice, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Why would you be watching that? <laughs> right. So uh, we need to decide where to start is the first thing. So you've got to start in this in the Anywhere actual the base. In fact, yes, strategy. We should probably talk strategy yeah. before we start. Um, the main thing is that this crystal, I think, is the closest. So it's the easiest to get early on. This is a little bit further away. And that one's rather right And that's the hardest one to get. But because the game gets harder... You think go for the more, the trickier ones first. I think we should go for the first one and leave this one to last. So the case, are we going to have one person trying to hold them off while the one makes a break for it? So if some, one person deals with those at the top... Yeah, I think one of us should definitely try and get that while the other person yeah. fends off help. Um, instantly, the minions move in a slightly strange way. On these tiles, they just kind of keep moving like this. Yes. And on that tile, it's going to come in like this. Once they get to the central tile, though, effectively, all the ones there and here will keep moving to the centre two rows. Once they get to one of these spots, then they move towards the school. So it can actually take quite a long time for someone like this to move because he's doing that kind of path. Whereas the guy on the end here can actually get in quite quickly because once you get to here, boom, it's game over. So the main area to watch for are the flanks. Yep. We've got to be very careful not to let the guys at the side here get in. If any of you guys have a better opinion of what we should be doing, yeah, do then say. please let us know. Uh, the oil slicks are quite nice. Uh, essentially, when something stands on it, you kind of slide onto the next space. So... That will happen too. Yep. Which, I mean, it's bad for us. It means, for instance, it's this minion is going to suddenly go very quickly onto that space. Um, now, I guess who goes for the crystal depends on the cards we draft. Yes. Um, so the I'm person with a little bit of space here so that we, so can, we can move into lay it. Them out here. We're going to need to move into it. Um, but I think one of us should. Maybe we should. I don't know. One of us needs to start quite close to there. I think. Yes. Uh, do you want to go for it? I'll, I will let you go with the break. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go here. In fact, do we know what's in these? or do we... In theory, we've picked them beforehand. Okay. But I just picked it for Mark. Because <laughs> <laughs> Mark was doing do, tech do, setup. Do, either, do you know if either of ours helps? If I just make earlier, made a difference to the sturdy stage. Mine, I seem to remember, wasn't very good. Yours was good, Plenty but it isn't particularly helpful in this scenario. Something like that, yeah. It's not the most useful card. You don't, you don't take damage. Instantly, when you take damage, you get damage cards which rather than doing wounds, kind of mess with your command line, so make it easier for you to do things in yeah. the wrong order. You'll see that, I'm sure, when it happens. So okay. I'm going to start there facing that way. Uh, I think, I mean, it's, it's fairly easy going, but I think that side for it, because the oil gives them a bit, they move slight, ever so slightly quicker. Sure. And I think I'm going to go there. Okay, just remember, the, these are the danger ones. Oh, because they get there quickest. Yeah, because this guy is going to go into here, all uh, the way to here, and then start to move in. Okay, well, let, should I go... I can start there and then move and come around. Let's try that. Yeah. I might even be able to get past that on the way. Oh, there's something fail. else. When we roll the dice, if we roll red, yep. that represents the school, yeah. then that means the fire in the school sort of flares up, and if we're on the school, we take a damage. Okay, that's... Not good, though, is it? We want to get off the school <laughs> pretty quickly if we can. Okay. All right, are we ready? No. <laughs> but it's going to be fun anyway. Okay, so we do a draft to start with, and I think the first one, I can't remember if it's timed or not, but all the normal ones are, but I think the initial one's not timed. It's, they call it a double draft. I'm going to deal out ten cards rather than the normal five, um, but we still each get two. And this is done in real time, so... In well, theory, but I don't think the initial one is... 
do correct me if I'm wrong here. We don't tend to take too We long need anyway. the help anyway. <laughs> well, you're going to eat one of that because that helps you move forward. Yeah, there's helpful icons. So this little swirly thing means it's turning you around. The arrow means that's you're moving forward. That's quite good as well for moving. And you, that's the moving damage one. I remember that one. Or shall I take that? Because if you stomp on the minions in you kill them as well. So that's good. Isn't that very good? Uh, you must turn 90 degrees. <sighs> the, mm. the memory core is very nice, though. Like, you need yeah. ways of um, turning. I wonder if I should Have take... Have any long-range damagey things? It's normally the... It's, isn't the, the, the flame, flame splitter, splitter you might want to take? I could take two flame splitters and just make them super... I'm going to take a blaze. So you take one now. Uh, I'll turn take a flame splitter. And then I'm going to go for a skewer as well, because I need to move. How far do we move? We just we move forward one space if yeah, we don't do anything Yeah, you can kind of power it up and then it moves further or turns yeah. more or whatever. So you need to take one more card. I'm just going to double for, do a double flame splitter. That's probably on. a good idea. So these then go away. In theory, that was the end of the timed section. They get to a discard pile. And then we can take as long as we like to place them. So I'm thinking I'm going to put them in the middle so it gives me I can put movement either side early on because yeah, I really right. don't know. In theory, they kind of slide down. Oh, you got it. Oh, okay. So this is level two because you see the two flames. So I don't think I'm going to hit anything early on, but no. once I uh, do some stuff, I'll, I'll have a chance. Yeah, you're not actually going to move either. <laughs> well, <laughs> but I'm sure that'll come. Yeah. Right, uh, where do I put them? It's a good idea to space them out if you've got different things. I think I want to move first and then do the fiery thing. We'll go with that. Okay. So then we move. Uh, in theory, we have a first player, which I guess was me. because You've got to let your card. You go for it. So I then do my command line. It's got to be one through six in that order. So I'm going to do this one first. Skewer says move forward, one space. Now, if I hit a minion, I kind of stick it on the front of my mech, and it acts as like a shield. So that's handy. Uh, but because I'm not going to hit one, I just go one space. Then blaze, move forward one space, and I kind of shoot fire out of either side, so I would be killing minions on those two spaces. But there aren't any, so that's me. Mark. And I go and fire enough. Nothing really happens. All right. Her soy says Robo Rally is one million times better than this. I hope that's uh, that's, that's confidential. <laughs> that's I haven't actually played it. I've played, I haven't played Robo Rally either, so that's uh... so I don't think we can comment. This is great. So if it's better, then we should play it, shouldn't we? I guess so. Yeah. That's uh, maybe a suggestion for another time. Yeah. All right. Uh, so then it's the minion's turn. So um, first of all, in fact, let me check my crib sheet here. <laughs> minion movement. So they all move one space in this particular scenario. Okay. So you just kind of move them all according to the movement. One space forwards. And these do as well. That's just going to stand on the crystal. That doesn't matter. Yep. Then we roll the dice. Yep. To see where we get the extra movement. And it's yellow. Yellow means it's these guys. So they'll move. An extra space. These guys slide over the oil. And that's bad. Good job I've got my uh, blaze going. And then uh, we spawn. And because it's yellow, they all spawn on that one. So we so need we to row need, yep. at the end. And then finally they attack. So if any minions were next to, like adjacent to, and it must be orthogonally, not diagonally adjacent, uh, one of the mechs, they would do a damage. Yeah. And you take each damage, you just take a card, and you do what it says. And as I say, usually it messes with your command line somewhere. And that's a round. Yeah. Job done. Round two. Yes. So we draft. So I'll deal out the five cards. Yeah. And again, we're going to take two each, but this will be timed. Yeah. Okay. So one, two... Three, four, five. Timer starts. So again, I need some movement. That's the. Uh, you must turn nine degrees. I'm still not moving. Ripsaw's really good because it will shoot something at any range. So you could shoot that. Okay. And then if you find a way of turning round, you could shoot in the other direction. Oh, I see. You mean that you must turn. So if I take. I might take a double cyclotron if you want to take. I'll take a ripsaw and just... Oh, you want to take oh, both? You could take a cyclotron. Just so I can... Because we have to... Otherwise, these are going to get to the base. I'll take an aim bot. We're about halfway through our time. Yeah. Uh, I'm happy with those two. I'm going to take a ripsaw then, because I think it's really good. All right, so uh, we've still got a few seconds left, but that's the end of the draft. Yeah. So now we decide where to put them. So Incidentally, you can 
replace existing cards. If it's the same one, it just powers it up. If it has the matching symbol, you can power it up. So instead of skewering, I could get a double ripsaw, which would kill two targets straight in front of me. It's quite tempting. Um, but if you replace it and the symbol doesn't match it, you kind of lose the old card to get that one. So that's not as good because you want to power up if you can. Um, I think I'm going to ripsaw second. second. Oh no, but then I'm not going to... Let's put that there. I'm just trying to think about killing these minions because I don't want them to end up yeah. next to me. Any range. I'm going to put that at the end. And we'll see what happens. Yeah. Happy? We're going to at least do... Yeah. I think something will happen. I'm worried about these guys. I think first player incidentally should be alternating, maybe. So, it should so, be... so you go first here. Okay, so one target in line. Something in your eyes, finally. Yay, so we get a uh, a minion kill. It actually goes on. Yeah. Oh, in the trap because it there. needs to fill it up to, to yeah, okay, you're up. kill something. I turn 90 degrees in one direction. Uh, I kill, I do damage there, but suddenly there's nothing there. And then I go 1-1 one, one, and those two spots, which suddenly there's nothing in there at the moment. Okay. But at least I should be able to deal with them soon. Yeah. I'm yeah. still aware, I think the uh, picture at the top left might be covering the... Do you want me to... Uh, uh, should I just go to the full speed? Tracker. Okay, let's just go to the overhead. I don't know how important that is, really. There you go. You can see it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, right. So now it's me. So I'm going to move forward one space right. and hit nothing. Then I'm going to Hexmatic Aimbot, which will kill one thing anywhere around me. So I'm going to kill this one. That goes on there. Then I Blaze, which means I move forward one space and shoot either side. That kills that one because I've stomped on it, and I kill nothing either side. And then finally I Ripsaw, which will kill one thing straight ahead of me, so yep. that one dies as well. So that's good. We killed four minions. Okay, that's good to start. Then it's their go, and they all move. One space. One space. Then we spawn by rolling the dice. Yep. It's yellow again. Some more at the back. Now... Sorry, they actually move an extra one, which is quite okay. good, because I was about to get damaged from this, but it's going to move an extra space, which means I won't get damaged by that one. Unfortunately, it doesn't mean it's yeah. close to getting into the score. Maybe I should turn around. Yeah, maybe. So they all... Oh, no, this one's moved in. So I'm going to get damaged anyway from that one. Then we do the spawn. One, two, three. I've got no way of turning around, though. I've fired off into the distance. <laughs> Feel like we're struggling at the moment. We are. We really are. I think I definitely need to turn around. I'll be turning around next time. I think and coming back to try and kill these and this guy. Yeah. Once we're powered up, maybe we can go for the uh, crystals then. Yeah. So then they attack. So I'm going to take one damage because there's one uh, minion next to me. Yeah. It is stuck controls. So this has a little save thing here which means I roll one of the d6s which gives me a three and it, it replaces nice. whatever I have in space three and it means when we get to this one I'm going to move one space to the right no matter what that has to happen so okay um, incidentally you can repair damage yeah. by discarding certain cards um, the yellow cards for instance will let you swap two things and if there were any yeah, the red ones or the blue ones will let you repair damage. So instead of yeah. programming it, you can use it to repair damage, which I might need to do. All right, next round? Yep. Yeah. So we get five cards. I think I'm going to be first. Flip and the time. Draft. Okay, what have we got? Flames, but uh, that's not great for this fuel tank. I think I might take this. Yeah. Because I could use it to power up and get a level two turny thing which would let me turn around I think I'm going to need to know the Omni Stomp to actually Omni Stomp's really good to move uh, I could, so I'm just I going could, to take I could fuel tank I could do it with my Cyclotron as well which would be really handy but you need to be able to turn don't you uh, I can turn I can do an 180 okay. turn that's fine 
So I'll take, uh, I guess I'm going to take on a stun point there for the moment. Um, I might just take something to repair this. I think that might be good. Yep. Um, so I'll take that one, and that's time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that goes away, and we program. So I'm going to upgrade this to a fuel tank, which means it lets me turn, but also if I'm about to take damage, I can kill things around me, which is great because I'm surrounded by loads of things. I'm going to discard the flame splitter to repair the damage. Yeah, I'm going to be in trouble. I'm going to kill that, which goes on there, which does that to go to there. Yep, yeah, and then they just sort of come, come off. off. But then I now have to turn 90 degrees or 180. Do you want me to start moving this direction? That's the... Uh... I think you should deal with these if you can, yeah. and I'll try and deal with them somehow. Uh, if I turn 180, I'm not going to be able to fire at them, which is... Yes, okay, well, I have to go in that direction. Otherwise, I'm going to be... the only other thing I've got to go that way. Or that would be fine, because then you could kill that one, though, couldn't you? Well, you want me to... So if I go that way... Okay. I'm just thinking next time you could kill that. Because it will shoot. And maybe try and deal with that one. Yep, yeah, okay. I think and I'm going to shoot both. Yes. Might deal with it. Flame Spitter does nothing. Then I can move one space forward or to the side. Which... Uh, I guess there if I'm going to shoot that one. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to. S oh dear, this is all coming in the wrong. The wrong uh, order for me. I'm going to skewer. <laughs> go the wrong way. Yes. But that will now protect me from damage. Hexmatic aimbot kills something next to me. I think I'm going to kill that one. Which goes on there. Then fuel tank lets me turn around, so I'm going to turn to face this way. Yep. And... Uh, ripsaw, I can kill anything hmm, in front of me, which would be nothing. <laughs> That's not good. No. I could turn to face that way and kill that one, but then I'm going to be moving the wrong way. I think I need to just do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that was our turn. Yep. Then he, these get they all move close one to one space. This could be over very quickly at this rate. Yep. There's there. Has that one been moved? No, I don't no. think that goes there. They all come forwards. Then we roll that die. Green which is this that side. one. So they all move an extra one. Incidentally, these ones don't. Because they're not on the green space. It must be on the green board. And then we spawn on the green. And I'm yeah, going to need another... Right. So well, it's back to... Oh, no damage. Uh, oh, nothing's next to us. Before we do it, I'm just going to work it. So currently, I'm going to destroy that. That's good. I'm going to destroy something in my 90 degrees, which sadly is not. But I'll get to turn. At that point, I'll at least wipe out that guy. That's good. And then I can stomp in a direction. You probably want to move this way yes. at that point, I think, don't you? So if I can find a way to either make my flame splitter better, would be handy, because then when I turn, I can kill both of those two. Or, yes. Or find other ways to park guns. Be able to move better would be good. Mm. Okay. Yep. So we draft? Yep. One, two, three, four, five. And we start the timer. Let's change. Okay, it's in front. I'd like to have one skewer. Okay, we'll go with one. Yep. Let me take one of those. I think I'm going to have to be able to move. Um, ooh, I could do a double hexmatic aimbot. Well, if you want to go that, I'm happy to take a move. That could be really useful. I could double up my ripsaw as well. Yeah, because that'll kill two things yeah. in a line. That'll be good. So I'll do that. I'll take, so I'll take these yeah. two. All right. Fine, fine. That easy. Uh, that's done. We program. So I've got a double skewer, which means I can move two, and a double hexmatic aimbot, which means I can kill things up to two spaces away. That's good. So I can pick off the ones that are getting close, hopefully. Yep. Yeah. So much for grabbing crystals. Yep. But we get more powerful. Assigned we we do, do, hopefully. We start kill, just killing more than comes to the board. Uh, is it me? You first. To go first. Okay, so I'm going to move two spaces forwards. 
One, two. I'm going to hexmatic something up to two spaces away, and this can be diagonally, although probably I just need to kill this guy, I think. I'd be more worried about that one. I think I can deal with that one. Okay, in, so I'll kill this one. At some point in the... If not, you might want to... Then I can turn. And... Uh, do I want to turn? I'm going to shoot something after I've turned with my ripsaw. Okay. So I could turn 90 degrees. Yeah. And kill that guy. That's, that's one more how... worrying. I'm worried about this one. That one and... Are oh, you going to kill this one, aren't you? And those two, both those are going to go soon, so yes. It's just that after I've turned, yeah. I need some way of turning back, otherwise I'm going to go off in that direction. Okay. But I'll do that, and I'll kill him. So I kill those two. Which go on the tracker. Onto the tracker. And gives us a team gear. So we lose come off. I hit my level two, which... We don't oh, you it. unlock your... Because I'm on level number two now. Yeah, great. Uh, play when, when you take damage, take no damage. Move to adjacent space. Oh, that's all right. I can, I can take... The move, I think, is really nice yeah. on that. But it has a little dustbin at the top right, which means you can only use it once. Yep. Yeah. Uh, turn. You must turn 90 degrees, so I'm going to definitely... Or 90 or 180 degrees. Keep everything entirely in two range, so there's nothing in my diagonal path. That's a diagonal one, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. The next one, though, does that one and those two, so that one goes... I can Omni Stomp, so if I, I'm trying to work out how I need to be able to get rid of that one. That's the one that's uh, concerning at the moment. I think I can kill that one next time with okay. my Hexmatic Aimbot. So if I, I could move, do you want me to move one, should I move one to the side? If you can maybe deal with these. Well, I'm about to move forward one I'll after head that, over there. which means I'll definitely get rid of them on the next. Yeah, I think that'll be all right. Okay. So there you go. Yep. So everything moves one space. Yep. Do you want to do your... Yeah, my... Board. Then we roll the dice to see where... Listen to the school now. The extra movement happens. Three. So they move an extra space. That's a... Right, That's lump. really bad. We might be about to lose. Uh, this will be the shortest live stream ever. And then we spawn the extra one, and then yep. the attack. And now there is one next to me, yes. so it would damage me, except I've It'd got this skewer. skewered one, so I just lose the skewer one instead. That goes away somewhere. Yes. Uh, okay. So it's back to us. Yes. Before we deal, what, yeah. <laughs> think what we. So somehow I, we need to get rid of. I just need to turn. Yes. Oh, we need to kill both of those, and that one. So I'm. I can deal with. Oh, that one's there, but I can actually kill that one. Yes. I will. I'm trying to work out. I should be able to. I'm going to kill that one. Okay. I'm going to kill that one. Good. So all three of those are going to die in some shape or form. That's great. Uh, oh, maybe they won't because I'll turn before I do that. I'll certainly get rid of two of them because they'll, they'll happen. That one and that one will go before I even do anything. The flame spitter, but, but then I turn at that point. Then the flame spitter can't really aim at anything because <laughs> it's too short a range. And then I kind of, I'm going to move in that general direction, but I can't get rid of that, those two. So I can kill this one. Yes. Or this one. I can't. Probably that's the harder one to kill. Yes. So if I get another card that lets him kill this, if I get a Hex Matter Aimbot again, yes. I can kill them both. Okay. Should we try? Yes. One, two, three, four, five. That the scythe, like the scythe. I can do it with the scythe. You sure? I need to turn first though, so I need to turn, take these two. Okay, well I can increase my Flame Splitter and take Blaze. It gives me a move at least. Okay. And we'll work, try and work out something with that. So I'll take those. And I'll take those. We might just survive. <laughs> we might. So I forgot to do the timer, but we were very quick anyway. Yeah. So that has to go there, so I turn at the start. And that goes there, which will let me kill something next to me when I turn round. In fact, now I'm going to kill something else. Uh, I will take that and so put it there for the moment, and we'll just see how it works out. I'm a bit, I'm a bit guessing, but if you can... 
if you've got it, then we should be. I think after that, I can start clearing up stuff. Yeah, we should the... be all right. I think. Okay. There's a bit of a breather after this. So I think I go first. Yeah. So the ripsaw kills those two. They're gone. Which goes on the onto the track. Okay. Need to remember to keep them over there. It's really important. Uh, I turn ninety degrees, but I kill that one. Oh, with the cyclotron. With the cyclotron. Nice. Uh, I flame spitter full power. But there's nothing in my so I'm actually damaging up to there at the moment, which is quite a lot. But sadly, nothing range. Yeah. I can add omni stomp left or forward. Now, I'm going to move twice on my next one, so I think I'm going to omni stomp there because I don't think those bottom lanes are a problem at the moment. And I can move one to the right. Yeah. And I'm going to go forward one space, and then sadly it doesn't quite work out. I move forward one more space. I damaged those two, but there's nothing there. Okay. I'm going to turn 90 degrees. Then I'm going to move forward two spaces. Then I'm going to hexmatic aimbot up to two spaces away, which can be diagonal, so I'm going to kill this one. Yes. Then I'm going to fuel tank, which makes me turn again. Yeah. Um, where do I want to finish? Mm. Will you be killing this one next time? I think you will, won't you? Because you're not going to move. I can always, yeah, uh, well... Oh, no, he's going to move, though, isn't he? But I'll be, I can always do a 180 turn if you need me to get rid of that one. All right. Uh, so I'm going to turn to face um, that way, actually. Yes. <laughs> with my fuel tank. Then I'm going to turn to face that way. Yep. And scythe this guy. Yep. Which gets us another... <sighs> yeah. And then I'm going to rip saw, which kills this guy. Well, so it wasn't even a problem. Right, we've got breathing room now. Yes, take a deep breath. <laughs> All right. So then it's them. Yep. Might be taking some damage here, but... Yep. Ooh, ooh, I've got an idea. I have a, a cunning plan. Okay. So they all move one space. Yeah. One, one. There we go. In, 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 in. These all move. Then we roll the dice for spawning. Yeah. And of course it's red. Now the good news is we don't have an extra movement and we don't have an extra spawn. But, but I take a damage. But you take a damage. This could be that. <laughs> Do we need to roll the dice to see where it goes? Or uh, it, it depends. You flip it over first. Move one space to the right. That is one that requires you to... But I can probably get dice. spend a card to get rid of that. So going on number five. That's not terrible, because I've yeah. still got to move there anyway. All right. We shall see. And then... They attack. Yes. And this one's going to attack me. But I think at this point, I should trigger my fuel tank which will kill. So instead of drawing a damage card, I can scrap the fuel tank card, which will lose the entire column here. Um, but it will target all targets in range two, because it's level two, yep. which means it will kill those three and those three. So, I mean, we only need four to fill up the that anyway. So those would have filled up that, and those two go on to there, and that moves up one. That's nice. Yes. And we've actually got a Feel bit of better. space. Yeah. All right. So that was there, go. Yep. And it's back to us. Do we want to discuss what's happening here? So currently, I'm killing the, both these guys. Yep. I'm killing that guy. Do you rotate? Probably rotate and kill that one. <laughs> yeah, I would have thought those two were the danger yeah. at the moment. Uh, and then I can move in that general direction, ready to get rid of another one. Oh, I'm going to be running around in circles at this point. I think I might just try and power up stuff that seems... Good. Yeah, I might get rid of the stuff control then. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. The Omni Stomp is nice. And we're a go. Do you want the Omni Stomp? Was that... Well, I'm thinking if you power it up... It gives me more flexibility. On... Although I could add it... Actually, that would be very helpful for me. If I added it to here, I'd have a level two Omni Stomp. Ripsaw's not... Oh, it's all right. I can blaze to move forward a bit quicker. I feel like so, I better weapons. I might take the ripsaw. I might take the blaze. One okay. of the, I so you pick one. I will take a blaze. Just I'll to... take the ripsaw. And then you take a second one. Are you going to take the omni stump or are you taking the speed? 
I think I might do, because it lets me get in position before all my killing stuff happens. Okay, well, I'll take the blur. Oh, this will allow me to repair this damage then. Yeah, that's a good With idea. With that. And I'll take that one. And that's yeah. time. Yeah. So, I'm going to have a level 2 Omnistomp. And a level 2 Ripsaw. That sounds good. Do you want to... to they are both... Yeah. And... Are you first? Yes. So those two guys die. Going on to there. Uh, I turn. I'm going to turn in this general direction. I am going to kill that guy because of my Psychotron does it, which clears out that and moves us up to level 5. Level 5, you say? My Strike That Reverse It card has been unlocked, which is a permanent. Yeah. And it means before I execute, I can actually do it backwards if I want to. So instead of going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, That's quite good. I can go 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> well, it's very random is what it is. My Flame Switcher fires, kills both of those two guys. Oh, great. So we've got a tile with nothing on it. I'm going to I'm going to be omni stomping. Uh, ooh, so do I don't want to move very far. I probably want to come back at some point, don't I? That way I would have so thought. So you go that way. Yeah. And then I end up moving three. Oh, if I go there, I can move. If I go that way, I can go. I can be there. Uh, I would leave this one. There. You think? I don't think we should be grabbing okay. this till last. One, and then I do actually then have to go. One, two, move. Yep. Yeah. One, two, three. So I need to turn around, which I can do. I'm not going to be doing much damage with that before that point. Okay. Yes. So I'm going to omni stomp in the wrong direction, really, but I'm going to go one, two. Yeah. I'm going to skew out and go forward one, two. Hexmatic aimbot lets me take out one thing up to two spaces away. So I'm going to kill one of those. One on the tile, maybe? In fact... Well, you've yeah, got a better I'm gonna, gonna... I'm going to kill that one actually. I think is my best option. Yep. Because then I can scythe, which means I turn ninety degrees. Yep. And kill one thing next to me, which will be that one. Yep. Then I'm going to rip saw, which kills two things in front of me, which kills both of those. So do you fancy doing this? Yep. So that off. clears onto the. Do that. Move up to six. It's all, all stuff on there at the moment. Maybe I can start heading in that direction. Yes. I feel better now. We were super close yeah, to we dying were. for a minute. All right, so then it's them. They all What's move. the order then of, of movement? Because those two are going to hit the same spot. Uh, that's a good question. I think you can decide. Okay. Because uh, essentially one will block the other one. So let's move that one, because that will block this one if he moves. One, two, three... Yeah, they'll move. That stops, that moves, 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 moves. I roll the dice. And moves. And we've got yellow, which is that one. So these ones move an extra space. That's right. Yep. And it can be spawn a... along the top. And there we are. Well, as long as I turn around, which I'll do my cyclotron, we are, I can start. I mean, that's the only one I'm a little concerned about. Oh, yep. <laughs> yes. Perhaps you could kill that one. That, that, but but he's, I'm he's, heading for the crystal. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I, I can shoot across, but I can move so quick now that I should at least have some way of getting to him. I mean, it's going to be one, two, three yeah. times. Yeah, I mean, I'll be able to. I'm going to be... But these three, I would have thought, yeah. are going to be the problem next. Okay. Well, I'll, I'm sure I can do them some shape or form. All right. Incidentally, there's no damage because yeah. there's no one next to us, but we get five cards. Yes. Yeah. Two, three... Five, and we start the timer. Uh, the skew would be good for me. Yeah. Because I've already got single. You, is it good for you as well? It would be quite you good can for me because I could get almost Chain next to the crystal. Lightning is the one that bounces, isn't it? But, and blaze. I could do the blaze also to move forward quicker. Could you take the blaze if I take the skewer? Yeah, that's fine. I can. If and I might take the fuel tank as well because I can get a feeling I might get hit here. Okay. So I'll take that one and that one. Yeah. Um, I don't think. I mean, I might take one and then just not do. Oh, I can swap two undamaged slots. I might do that, and it gives me a chance to, to start real. Yeah, that'd my, be handy. Because I'm struggling with positions of stuff. So that's discarded. Oops. I'm going to get a level three skewer. I'm going to move my cycler trying to into that spot, so I can do that first. So it allows me to turn, rotate, and then 
at least I'm facing in sort of the right direction. Okay. Am I first this time? Uh, yep, you're first. So I'm going to Omni Stomp two to the left. One, two. That's good. Which kills that one. He goes up there. Then I'm going to skewer three places, spaces forward. So that's one, two, three. Slide on the oil to there. Yep. Hexmatic aimbot kills something up to two spaces away. No, I'm going to be killing that one anyway and that one anyway. Yeah, so I want to kill that one, I think, so I'm not going to be taking damage. Yeah. Then I fuel tank Let's means I have to turn. I'm going to turn... Ooh, this is going to be slightly tricky. I think... Oh. Oh, but then I'd be... Oh, I kind of want to turn around here, but I think I might take damage. Um, so I'm going to fuel tank to here. Yeah. Then I'm going to scythe to here. Yes. So the next turn I can omni-stomp and then move forwards. That's the plan. Okay. Uh, the scythe will kill one of them. I think I need to kill that so one. Oh, but they're going to move anyway. Yeah, and not a lot I can do about that. And the ritual, I'm afraid, there's nothing because there's nothing in yeah. front of me. So... My cyclotron, I'm going to turn 180 degrees. I don't know any damage with it, but I've turned 180 degrees. So I kill those two because they're in line, which fills up one of those. So we get to pull that over there, move that up to seven. We're starting to move through that a lot quicker at the moment. Yep. Uh, I fire flames, but uh, nothing there. Now, I think it's time if I omni stomp, I'm going to take a bit of a risk with damage. I'm going to omni stomp to there, and then I'm going to get to move forward. It's Essentially four spaces, so one, two, three, four, which is setting me up for a... And that would kill oh, yeah. stuff, but it's left and right, and there's nothing yeah. there. But at least I'm That's moving. I position. should be able to get rid of those sooner rather than later. Yeah, I like it. Yep. So then it's their turn. Yep. They all move, so he moves to there, he moves to there. One of these moves in. Yep. He gets blocked. So that moves to there, that moves to there, that slides along and hits that one. Yeah. Then we roll Then we're all red. red. <laughs> it's yellow. yellow. Oops. Oh. oh, well, one bonus is that this guy moves <laughs> off because they all move again. Yes. He's blocked. That will move to there. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry, I've just moved him. And then we spawn, unfortunately. Yeah, do we to use some of these as well? Yeah. You're running low. And there we are. Then they attack. Which means they're next to me, so I take a damage. And I haven't got anything skewered, so I can't protect with that. Oh, I'll tell you what, I could use my fuel tank. That's what I was going to do. So instead of taking damage, I'm going to blow up my fuel tank again. Okay. And kill everything up to one space away this time, which will kill... That's all right now, isn't it? Three there. Yeah, that's great. It's another way getting close enough. on that one. So that actually well, should it. be on the scar pile. So that's, I'm probably if I can get something to swap spots, I'm probably gonna do that again. As at this point, I can improve stuff, but I'm I'm kind of with the right combination. I can like they'll get rid get rid of those and just keep moving around now. Great. All right, five cards. One, two, three, four, five. I'd like a scythe. <laughs> yes, um, four that's sides. Good. Um, I would like the, the hex. I may as well take box. take two of them because I can just get a level yeah. three scythe at that point. So well, I think I'm gonna do that. Okay. Uh, the scythe, I'll return, repair no damage, but I will swap stuff around. Now, what would I like to be doing earlier? I would love to be moving my omni stump and swapping my rib saw. For that, will give me. Ability to do a lot, of, uh, maybe actually, yes, because I can step one, I can take a step to the left. That's me done with those. Okay, and are you first to yep. move this time? No, oh, no, I've just messed up. Uh, can I undo my because otherwise I'm about to turn around and that would be bad. <laughs> so those two are there and there. So for my swap, I am going to turn around. I'm going to swap those two. So Are I'm you sure? No. <laughs> but it's about the best I can do at this second. So I'm going to omni stomp to there. Yeah. I'm going to rip saw those two. Well, that's good. Which? Oh look, we've hit the we've hit the limit again. Number eight. Flame spitter doesn't hit anything. I do have to turn at this point, so I'm going to. I can make a bounce off there if it make, if it makes life easier. 
I think if you head up this way, it's fine. You think that was a... Yeah. Okay, I'll turn to there. Does no damage. Then I go one, then one, two, three. Yeah. And that goes three, four, three, six. blaze as well, wouldn't you? And two targets, one left, one right. So that dies as well. That's good. Uh, two more on there. As long as you come back for this one at some point. Yes, like a, an early psych jump. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. All right, I'm going to Omni Stomp to the left, or to my right. Yeah. Uh, two, so one picks up you the crystal. That. Two, so I now have a crystal in my position. And then I'm going to skewer forward three spaces. That's good. That's one, two, three, which gives me a bit of defense. Then I'm going to Hexmatic Aimbot, so I kill something up to two spaces away. Um, I think I'm actually going to kill that one. Just look, now we've done a crystal, it gets worse, doesn't it? <gasps> what, it does, what it does. Does it get re um, worse? So, Escalation Stage 1 is yes. when we spawn the minions, yes. instead of spawning one row of minions, you spawn two rows That's of minions. That's a bit painful, but yeah. okay. Uh, I'm going to side, which means I have to... Well, I can face any direction, so I'm actually going to stay and face the same direction, I think. Then I kill up to three targets next to me, so that will be that one dead. And then I'm going to rip saw, which kills this one, uh, which fills up our gears again. Well, we're... Um, Can we go to there. nine? Yeah. We're approaching 15, where we can start... Yeah, it's all working. Right, yeah. there you go. Yes. So they all move one space. We roll for spawning. Yes. Green. This side. So we get two. So these move again, oh, though. So they move again. Which is that. Well, that's bad. That one was, might be a, a small. That's really bad. Yes. <laughs> and we have to work out a way of getting there. And then we get two all Two full way. rows. That was the worst oh, thing no. you could have. <laughs> I can kill it. Okay. So you can definitely get rid of it even... I can definitely kill it. Because I, I can move five spaces forwards and then my hex magnetic aim bolt will take it That's out. That's good. Uh, I might then try and move just over in this direction try to get that one. Because I can move forward quite yeah, do a lot. It might be worth taking those two out first if you can. Uh, maybe. I can still get rid of... That might be a problem. We should have to... I'll be killing these two. Okay, yeah. All right. So we draft, don't we? Yes. And this is... Three, four, five. There's always an Omni Stomp there. Timer starts. I quite like the Hexmatic Aimbot. I wouldn't mind the Omni Stomp just to give me more flexibility of movement. All right, I'll take that. And then I wouldn't mind... Is there anything that allows me to swap? Do you need the speed? I don't need anything else, I'm really. I'm that for a swap, and then I can... Um, do stuff. Um, I might take the blades because I think I can get onto the school this turn mm -hmm. if I do that. All right, so that's the end of drafting. I'm going to have a level three hexmatic aimbot and a level one blade. So I think I'm going to swap the cyclotron uh, again so that I can. Do you really need me to deal with that one? Don't need you to. Is it like it's going to move that way and then down, does it? I think we'll be fine, yes. So if I swap those two over, it just means I can turn that way and I can start Killing dealing those. with stuff in that direction. Right. Plus the Omni Stomp gives me a bit more flexibility on movement. Yep, sure. Okay. And I'm first? Yep. So this I'm going to <laughs> Omni Stomp two spaces forwards. One, two. Yes. Then I'm going to skewer three spaces forward. Yep. So that's one, two, three. No, I can't. You can only have one of these on, so I can't take an extra one. Yeah. Then Hexmatic aimbot up to three spaces away. Ching! That's excellent. Blaze Nothing. moves me oh, another space yeah. forwards and doesn't kill anything. Scythe lets me turn round. And we're going to go for what? That crystal next? Yes. I'm wondering if you head this way and I head that way. Let me try and grab them both at once and rush back. Okay. I can certainly move that. I won't be doing much in the way of damage, but I can certainly shoot off in that direction. Because I could turn to face this way, you see. Okay. Oh, and you'll be able Kill to do both it. both of those. Okay, yeah. And then I can head off that, in that way. That does make sense, then. Which is still fine, because I'm about to 
Shall I go? So I'm yeah. going to turn 90 degrees that way. I'm going to rip saw this guy. He, he's gone. Although we killed those two as well. Oh, well, we've, uh, we've done that. We've done that. We're at level we're number 10. We're almost at 15. I mean, we want stuff to come in now. Yeah. Uh, done that one. Flame spitter kind of flies out forward. Doesn't do anything. I can omni stomp in any direction, twice in any direction. I think I'm going to go there then. Yep. Actually, I turned there. The cyclotron would have killed that off. I haven't moved. That would have... Uh, Great. Directly with diagonal to me. So, yeah, two there. That's good. So, I'm going to stunt to there. I, there. I'm going to move forward four spaces in total. One, two, three, four. I might be able Perfect. to... If I can do something about this cyclotron, I can just I can walk onto it next turn. Great. But I need to do something about that. Uh, so, that's the end of the round? Yes. Time to roll... We move the minions? Yes. Then we roll the dice. Yes. It's red. Fortunately, I'm not, You're not quite, quite on it. the score. But it means nothing moves. So nothing happens. Um, which means no minions get spawned. Yes. It's all coming together. We kind of got away with a couple of very tight turns. Yeah, indeed. Uh, and we go back to the draft. Yep. One, two, three, oops, four, five... I mean, again, I could d mine any Stump anything timer. that allows me to swap to. Do you want to take a? I might take an Omni Stomp and then with the, another I think green. Or I you know? would take the Omni Stomp because for me it's all about. There's two, thankfully, which makes it even better. Moving. I just moved three spaces. I only want to move two, so I won't take an Omni Stomp. Oh, because you're going to go left. Yes, I want to. I want to all do. Right, that. I'll take one. I'll take a... Uh, do you need a memory card at all? No, I'd probably just take the fuel tank, because yeah. then when they're all next to me, I can blow I'll them take, up again. And I'll take the speed as a... They're fairly... Uh, it allows me to do two swaps. Which... Oh, I don't know if I want to... Oh, make me three. That. I need to omni stomp onto here. Yeah. Next turn... If I move three and then three, I'll just sail right past it. So, well, I've got two swaps. My first swap is going to be to swap those two, so I could definitely only stomp into the right line. But now I need... I'm going to swap the... as my second one. I think that's the... I will swap... You can swap the same card out twice. What do you mean? So I've got two swaps. So yep. I've done one swap to swap those two over. Yep. Uh, can I now swap that again so I can move yep. the blaze so I can get... Yeah, that's fine. I just need it to not the... Uh, do me in if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So I'll swap those two piles. I'm going to use the Omni Stomp to swap, actually. So that I can turn, if need be, before skewering things. So I'm going to swap these two. I think that will be handy. Mm -hmm. All right. Right. So, uh, that was on my skewer. Am so I first? No, it's or? me to go first. Yep, all right. We should really be using that for that. That's the first player mark, isn't it? Oh, that's what it's for, yeah. Yeah, so you swap it between the two players. So you're first. Yes, yeah, so I'll hold on to it, which also means it's my, now my responsibility to remember about the timer, and then we'll, we should play it properly. Yeah. I only stomped two to there. A ribsaw, there's nothing to kill. A flay splitter, there's still nothing to kill. I'm going to move, I'm going to end up moving four spaces forward. Which allows me to take that. Uh, and then I'm going to do a 180 degree turn. Okay, that's good. So I'm, uh, we've got, all, well, I've got a second one. Now you've got the second shard. Yes. Is that bad? So, um, all the minions yes. move two spaces. That's terrible. So we don't roll the dice to see which will move the extra space. They all move the extra space. That's. But they still only move one space on here. Okay, that at least isn't as bad. We yeah. need to roll the dice to see where they spawn. That's right. So now's the time to be rolling red, but you've got to go. So I'm going to move to here yes. and cash in my crystal. I'll put it there. Yeah. One down. Then I'm going to scythe and just carry on facing the same... Oh, no, because I'm going to have to turn for that one, aren't I? So I'm actually going to turn and face that way. Yes. Hexmatic aimbot will kill something up to three spaces away. One, two, three. One, two, no. no. Not close enough. Fuel tank lets me turn back. That's good. Then I do my skewer. One, two, three. Yes. And then my ripsaw kills those two. Good. And you 
getting in the right area for... And yes, I'm, I can definitely pick it up next time. A long, rather a long way away. I might need to rearrange my line again. <laughs> okay. So then they... All move to. All move to, Except yeah. for this guy who goes there. That's right. Two. One, two. 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 And we roll for spawning. Let's get red. Uh, it's red! So nothing spawns. Great. That's perfect. Well, <laughs> it's looking quite bad. Yeah, maybe you can deal with those after you've docked. I will. Should, oh, I'm going to move in that. I could do with doing more swaps again, I guess, so I can get into Yeah, it. all right, let's draft. Oh, and the first player marker moves. Yes, so you control that. You flip it over. Oh, yeah, we're so drafting. Let me do the timer. Um, I mean, I can. There's no problem with rips. So I think it, I need a swap again, just for swapping. I think I want an Omni Stomp, you know. Okay. Well, Matt, I can use the Omni Stomp. I mean, you, you can be forward with it, which would be handy for. I'm going to use that to make it quicker to grab the crystal. Uh, I'm going to take the chain line, I'm not really bothered, I'll use, as it's a handy swap. I can do the ripsaw. I'll take a ripsaw. I could do the. I mean, I could kind of. Um, well, I don't think I need to swap too many stuff around, so I'll just take that. I might use the third ripsaw, you never know, Mike. Well, I can just get a level three yeah. ripsaw, so I'll do that. And I'm actually going to replace my hexmatic aimbot. I think I'm just going to scrap it because this will let me grab the crystal, turn around, and move. Okay. Um, I've got. I've got to be omni stomping back and omni stomp. I mean, I can get one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. I can get onto there this turn anyway. Great. Um, do I want to be turning around earlier to... Trying to think how I can kind of arrange it so that I can hit one of those, but I just don't see me doing that. Hmm. So I think... I'm not even sure it's worth me rearranging at this point. Okay. I think I'm going to just... Uh, I'll take the extra ripsaw because I've got level three ripsaw. Yeah. Because yep. it's not going to do much, but... I've got it. So moving... So I'm yes. on, going to omni-stomp two to the right, one, two, because yes. that one. I'm going to scythe and face that way, and I can kill three targets one range away, so that's those three okay. gone. That's uh, turn is over again. And then my newly With placed two, omni-stomp. Two or stay. Let's move one space to the left and grab the crystal. Right. Then fuel tank lets me turn back. Skewer lets me move one, two, three spaces forwards. And Ripsaw kills nothing. Yep. But I'm on the way back with the crystal. Oh, hang on. Third crystal. Yes. Uh, right. The ex the final level of escalation. Yes. We When we spawn, yes. we're going to spawn two rows in every spawn zone. I don't think it's a problem anymore. So we should be fine. But yeah, we're going to get two rows in every section. Uh, so I'm just going to Omni Stomp 2 forward. I'm in a rip sword, there's nothing to hit. A flame spitter, there's nothing to hit. That flame spitter's a nothing <laughs> all game. <It's> good. <laughs> I think it's good, done two. Uh, but then I move forward three spaces. Ooh. And then I skewer one space forward. Yeah. Uh, and then I drop the crystal off. Hooray. And then I turn. Uh, I will turn that direction. And then I do lightning, but just about missed that one. Nice. I managed to miss that one. Oh, because it's only level two. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So minions, so they move one, that moves one, these move one, two. So that goes... I'll move that. Boom. Oh, dear. Yeah. And then one, two, one, two. all those. Then we get two rows on everything. Yeah, so I don't need to roll this because we just get a big pile of minutes. Do they not move again? But they won't be able to move again because they're getting blocked anyway, aren't they? They're all going to... I'll start filling them out anyway. Oh, yes, they all move twice, don't they? Yes. Well, that's blocked. They're all blocked. Yeah, so, so it doesn't make it. So it doesn't really... Give me a pile. <laughs> so, yeah, we don't need to roll them. You're going to need a, a but Just because they look good, we'll, uh, yeah. we'll put a big pile of miniatures on the ends here. But I think... All right, lots of minis. I can't see it. I need one more mini. I need one more. There you go. Right. Surely. Surely now so we're going to So all we it. need to do is you need to walk onto there. I just get there. to the school. I can definitely do that. 
One, two, three, four, five. So That's your me. first player. So you flip that, that over. Uh, I'll take the flame splitter. I'll take that just so I can do a swap if there was any need for it. So all you need to do is literally walk onto the school. Yeah, so I don't think it really matters. I'll just take this one and ditch it. Your side's not going to force you to turn around and then... No, because it's a level three, I can choose to face uh, any direction. direction. And then on my stump. Uh, I'll take the skewer. I don't know. If we go, if right. we go the softest skewer, I, I won't swap anything. Can you um, you get a chance to kill stuff before I save the day? <laughs> yes, uh, I might as well. So if I omni stomp two in that direction, I kill three <laughs> with my rip saw. Yep. Which there was another level that one, level twelve now. We're not gonna hit fifteen. A flame are we? splitter, which actually does two damage. Ah, finally. Uh, blaze, I shoot off in this direction. Three, move forward another space. I'll turn 180, and then it does diagonal, but it doesn't hit anything. All right, so I am going to go one, two spaces forward to my Omni Stomp. Yeah. I'm going to scythe and just carry on facing the same way. Yeah. My Omni Stomp, one more space, and we win the game. And we win. Hooray! Well, that got close at times. That was really, really tense. Shall we um, put the um, switch back to the picture of... Yes, let's swap over to... Us on there, so you can see actual people talking. Let's go to there. I did not think we were going to win that. I thought it was going to be a very short game. We were going to lose right near the start. Because we had a place where two were like, just sat right on there. And that was... And I feel out of practice. <laughs> As in... Uh, normal, uh, like when I played for, because I played through the couple of scenarios, like ones before, you'd like, I've got an idea, I don't want to try it. This has like, I'm just going to try and hold on and just, just about do enough damage. And then I have this, like, blazes, uh, like, flames for so I used to remember always being really good, but I just... I was never in the in right work. range to yeah, do it. Yeah. It was always too far ahead of me or or as, as such, which made it really tricky because I just couldn't... I really like the decision-making yeah. in the game. There's an awful lot of that sort of spatial, if I go here, oh, I'll kill that one, but if I turn first, oh, that means I'll be killing this one. Yeah. And, and you get that whole kind of pressure of, we really need this one, or yeah. it'd be nice to kill those. And I think it's great. I really like this. And it yeah. didn't take too long to play either. I mean, we've taken, what, less than an hour because we were yes. training at the start, haven't we? Um, for that scenario. So yeah, mm. that yeah, was successful. Still, still really good. Still, yeah, still, still as good as I remember. But uh, yeah, it helps. I think the, I remember also the scenarios get better as they they get more complex as the as you get further in the campaign, and it requires far more strategizing between mm. each other. So if you've not seen Max vs. Minions before, hopefully this gives you a taste of what it's like. Yes. Um, in fact, what what always happens. I played through this with a four-player campaign, and what normally happens in a four-player game is at least one person just ends up in a bad situation, surrounded by yeah. minions, away from everyone else. They end up with a row full of damage, and they just sort of turn in circles yeah. and shoot the wrong way, and it's hilarious watching that one person. I think all four of us at one point or another in the game, in the, in the campaign, ended up being that person for one of the games. Yeah. Um, but it was lots of fun. So, Yeah. Uh, I think we're about done then. Yes, yes. I don't think there any questions or put anything up, so I think we should call it at that. Thanks very much for watching. Yes, we'll see you next time. Bye. I will.